Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Elixir exhibits new turbo model at Friedrichshafen. S52L Hummingbird manufacturer looking for corporate partner. Sonaka 200NG revealed at Aero Friedrichshafen. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Elixir exhibits new turbo model at Friedrichshafen. Elixir Aircraft announced a few updates at this year's Aero, ranging from coveted CS23 certification to a new trim level boasting a Rotax 915 IS turbo. Elixir Aircraft showed off their spiffy new CS23 approval at the show, which has spurred them on to greatly expand their manufacturing capability with such a large, wide-ranging market at stake. The French manufacturer holds more than 40 back orders for aircraft. Last year, they decided to internalize production of one-shot parts, primarily the fuselage and wings. In order to fabricate them in-house, a second facility was created, housing a pair of autoclaves suitably large for such large pieces. The Elixir is entirely French, soon to be flying across the country with nearly four dozen operators and 15 flying clubs throughout their home country. Perhaps most importantly for prospective buyers, Elixir's new higher power trim level, the Elixir 915 IS, has been announced. The plane adds a turbocharged variant good for 140 horsepower. The CS23 certified plane grants pilots cruising speeds of 158 knots at 85% power while retaining all the same flight characteristics experienced with the base model. Some minor additions to the Elixir 915 IS will include improved aerodynamic winglets, a new engine cowling, and an assortment of small lifestyle niceties. And after the break, Sporty's update Sport Pilot Course. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Sporties updates Sport Pilot Course. Sporties continues to go through and revise their online courses, this time allowing future LSA pilots to learn the ropes and save money on the ground time for their Sport Pilot license. Sporties has updated things with new video, handy tools, and a support for wider roster of platforms. The time is right with a number of new additions and prospective sport plane owners hooked by the new generation of affordable, modern aircraft coming out every month. Boeing confirms 777X push to 2025. Boeing has confirmed that the first 777X delivery is now anticipated for 2025, a change that will incur about $1.5 billion in otherwise avoidable costs. The delay didn't just come for the 777X, as the report also touched on the 787 and the 7778 freighter program. Boeing CEO Dave Calhoun outlined the immediate future for the company in his overview of this year's first quarter results. The 787 program has also submitted a plan to the FAA. DJI Drones hits pause button with Russia and Ukraine. Drone maker DJI, a Chinese-based company, indicated that it will temporarily halt business in Russia and Ukraine while they, quote, internally reassess compliance requirements in various jurisdictions, end quote. This decision appears to be driven by the current hostilities between Russia and Ukraine. DJI added that they are not in favor of their products being used to cause harm. Since the beginning of hostilities on February 24, 2022, several sources stated that drones in Ukraine's hand with arms or supplies could help level the playing field in their favor. Doc hits the road for the B-29 History Restored Tour. 
The Wings Over the Rockies Air and Space Museum will be the first host to the rare Airworthy B-29 dock as part of its History Restored Tour. The Air and Space Museum will have the Vintage Bomber at its exploration of flight campus at Centennial Airport from May 6 to May 8, alongside a few more classic World War II aircraft. Those present will include a few North American aircraft with a pair of P-51D Mustangs, a T-28, and an SNJ-5 Texan. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. S-52L Hummingbird Manufacturer Looking for Corporate Partner Vertical Aviation Technologies has announced that it's on the hunt for a strategic partner for the manufacture of their Hummingbird S-52L helicopter. The S-52L is a four-spot helo based on the older Sikorsky S-52, with a bevy of modifications, new tech, materials, and processes. The end result, Vertical says, is a much more modern, safe, and higher-performing aircraft. Vertical acquired the engineering and flight test data from Sikorsky. Since 1991, they have offered the aircraft as an experimental kit helicopter, but a recent deal has made them the owner of the type certificate for the S-52. Now Vertical wants to amend the type cert with the new Hummingbird specification, allowing it to enter the commercial market. The completed Hummingbird S-52L in production guise carries a six-cylinder fuel-injected IO540 Lycoming, but Vertical says it is, quote, an ideal candidate for a turbine power plant should their partner prefer it. It has been redesigned to meet modern FAA requirements, seeing considerable revision to both rotor blades, empennage, fuel system electrical layout, instrumentation, flight controls, fuselage, nose cowling, windshield, and interior. Safety features covering Part 27 occupant safety requirements have been retained and improved where appropriate, including fuel crashworthiness revisions, seating attachment and design, energy-absorbing landing gear, and automatic collective pitch reduction, among others. And after these messages, Sonaka 200NG revealed at Aero Friedrichshafen. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. Sonaka 200 NG revealed at Aero Friedrichshafen. Sonaka has announced the addition of two more trim levels to the Mark's 200 trainer aircraft. The first, the Sonaka 200 NG, takes the regular two-seater trainer and Leisure 2, as they are careful to remind us, and equips it for VFR night flight. Taking the traditional six-pack of instruments from the day aircraft with electronic engine monitoring and a radio stack. Sonaka describes the layout as classic, adding that the more standard T-shaped instrument layout is a demand of many flight schools. The attitude indicator is a GI-275. The 200 Trainer Pro replaces the traditional layout in favor of a G500 TXI with a secondary GTN 650XI. In contrast to the NG, the Pro goes as modern and cutting edge as possible, boasting a glass screen on any instrument that can offer one for those looking for an all-glass experience. Sonaka has announced the expansion of its international presence, enlarging its footprint with a selection of distributors added over recent months. Sonaka notes that since its introduction, the 200 has racked up more than 25,000 flight hours and over 50 planes delivered. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching!